Just about two o'clock on April 3rd in this is our first segment. I'm going out for another walk. Uh, reason for that, uh, I, went, I went shopping yesterday but I forgot to bring you. Uh, so now I'm going out again. And I'm going to get the uh, hard drive uh, that I need. I said the hard drive that I got that was delivered uh, was broken. The uh, store is about an hour's walk away from here. So I'm going to walk up uh, and exchange the hard drive. I decided rather than going with a 3 terabyte, I'm going with a 2 terabyte. And it's a split the uh, uh, the NAS storage across the network rather than having it on the, uh, rather than having it on the, uh, whew, on one system. So before I left, I just uh, completely, uh, I tried doing the debug work on the back room system, but it didn't work. There are just too many problems with it, so I decided to do, do a new, new install of Kubuntu. It went very well, so uh, when I get back, I gotta finish that configuration, install the hard drive, and then. Uh, Start balance loading the uh, network again. So, <laughs> or should I continue with balancing, balance loading the network again? Uh, because this sort of uh, second hard drive failure, the one that I'm returning, kind of caused uh, more of an issue. So, anyways, uh, it interrupted everything. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you in a bit because I gotta sh cross some streets now, and I'll be back in a little bit. In a little, in, in uh, well, but uh, 10 15 minutes, I don't know. All right, I've done crossing the major streets. <laughs> I'm well on my way to the store. Uh, I'll see how long it ends up taking me to get there. I'm not really too sure, I said, the exact distance. Uh, I know more or less by time. I know a walk usually takes me anywhere between two to three hours in total. Uh, the variation being in. Do I stop and look at something? Do I stop and uh, uh, you know shop more? It really depends on what I'm doing. <laughs> and uh, you know, this is sort of you know, as you talk to yourself to the camera. Well, from the other people's perspective, if people don't know what YouTube is and know they don't know what a YouTuber is, then they're not going to understand what I'm doing here. Uh, <laughs> This was sort of commented. I was watching uh, uh, one of the videos yesterday. Can't remember her name. And she was talking about going to playlist, and everyone that playlist there was was uh, vlogging, right? Because playlist is uh, like VidCon, but it's uh, in Florida. This Florida is VidCon, right? VidCon is in LA, in California, and uh, playlist is in Florida. So. And they're all YouTubers, so this is something that's uh, standard. So we're at a stoplight here. Some guy's got his music nice and loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm smack dab in the middle of an industrial area. It's the best place to have your labs and have your library. So if something goes wrong, uh, all the walls around you are cinder block. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Anyways, uh, my arm is getting tired. 
So, um, at my next stop, I'll get you out again. I'll talk a little bit more. All right. Well, we're at our next point of interest. <laughs> if I were a tour guide, tour guide, I would say that, but I'm not a tour guide. <laughs> uh, anyways, I said I started to, decided to start vlogging here at this point for this part of the journey because this is where I usually get caught up and uh, waste some time. What am I talking about? Well, up ahead is the bridge. And under the bridge are railroad tracks, and I'm kind of a fan of trains, so it catches, if there's a train going by, it catches my eye. Sometimes I'll stand and wait and see if I can see a train coming, but uh, probably not today. And if you notice, I get winded while I'm talking, because talking and walking takes energy so that does happen and you hear all the noise and sometimes you know if it's windy out I can't control that and there's a little bit of a wind today it is cloudy <sighs> let's get to the railroad tracks and see what's what's up <laughs> uh. I'll give you a bit of the scenery. There used to be an old house there, a haunted house, if you will. This all used to be country. It all used to be farmland. But uh, in the recent years, well, about a decade or so, uh, it's become more industrial. It's kind of fixed everything up. And uh, the old stuff, the old houses, were moved off. Where to, I'm not actually sure, but uh, uh, let's see here what we have. So the right was an old cement com company. I don't know if the cement company is still there. But I know they had been. Uh, getting ready to move out we're now at the railroad tracks there's the railroad tracks I don't see anything coming although there is a flashing light up ahead I'm gonna wait for about five ten minutes I'm going to cross the bridge, wait for about 5-10 minutes, and if nothing comes, then we'll continue on. As I see a light up ahead, it looks like it's flashing, it's a white light, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a train. But, it can, you know, when, when, when I'm talking... See, a, a flashing light off in the distance, this is what I'm talking about, apparent, apparent appearances. Something may appear to be one way, but it may be something else. A a flashing light in the distance on railroad tracks could be the train bouncing up and down and because it does bounce up and down as it moves across different tracks and we see the light coming to us from its headlights uh, as flickering on and off even though it's not flickering on and off the light itself is not flickering on and off it's the light that's reaching us that's flickering on and off because there's something blocking the path periodically and that's what a signal is <laughs> uh, old signals were simply uh, you wanted to turn a light off you put something in front of it to block the light and then you turn it back on again then you remove the thing to turn it back on again so uh, was it we'll wait for about five minutes see if there's anything that comes if not then I'll uh, continue on my way I don't like stopping over the bridge the reason is these, these uh, rails aren't so steady and uh, I'll explain the physics of fall later on, but these uh, barriers are not good in terms of the physics for fall because uh, the potential of falling over is, is uh, significantly high. It's almost as if these barriers weren't here. I mean, these barriers are, are not much good at all. They should be a lot, they should be higher. Anyways, that's about it for now. My nose is running because it's cold out. 
and uh, I'll talk to you in about five, ten minutes. Well, I'm on the road again. I stopped at uh, a Wednesday, a Wendy's just right, right back there. There's Tim Hortons with it too, uh, to go to the bathroom. I'll stop on the way back and get some donuts. Uh, <laughs> now that there's a donut shop on the way back. Uh, I don't like eating while I'm out walking, so uh, I usually get something, bring it back to my place, and then I have it there. So and I think donuts would be the best thing. They travel well. They travel lightly. <laughs> um, what did I say? Uh, the other topic I was thinking about when the camera was off, because I always think of things to say after the camera turns off. I don't think of things uh, while the camera's on. Uh, is about the open science on G+, uh, my community. It is an open community, as I said. It is. It, uh, I'm going to be adding some new stuff in there. Uh, so that uh, people who want to be scientists can. And I'm actually going to add any instructions. If you want to be a scientist, uh, that you can be. You don't have to go to any specific school. You don't have to uh, uh, do any particular studies. You don't have to be... If you uh, have this view, you don't have to be particularly smart. These are things that are developed in time as you evolve as a scientist. So uh, I will be adding that in there. I'll be adding in steps so that as a scientist you can prove yourself and sort of uh, grow. And this is something known as peer review. Peer review is uh, traditionally scientific papers that are put out to the scientific community for other scientists to review and sort of critique. But this has kind of been, it's kind of gotten away that most things get. That in time they become corrupt and it comes about whether or not you're elite enough in your paper, it's who you are determines the acceptability of, what, of your paper and what's in your paper. And that's not the way science should be, it should be open. And just the way I started Open Science, I want to start something new called Open Peer Review. This is peer review put out to anybody, scientists or non-scientists, for them to see, to read and review or whatever, however you put it out, you know, put it out and open to the public. Let the public see what you're doing. Let the, and let the peer review be open. That's the best way of doing peer review. Anyways, my arm is getting tired again, so I'm going to put you down. And I'll pick you back up again in a little bit uh, as we get closer to the store. All right, take it easy. Well, I got what I wanted. And uh, I got more than I wanted, actually. There was more there that I found because what I always do is if there's other stores around that store, you always go and check the prices and see what they have available. Uh, because, you know, stores change. Sometimes you have good management and they're good to they're, they're good to the customer. They have excellent customer service. Sometimes the store can change over overnight. Same names, just different manager, uh, and uh, you end up with nothing. <laughs> uh, anyways, I found a store across the street that did a better job at what uh, uh, Tiger Direct, Tiger Direct did. Uh, apparently, their store was bought out. They're no longer accepting returns. They're, if you purchase something online, you can't go up to their store and return it to them. You know, have to go to the head office. You have to go through a whole rigmarole. And, well, basically, they just don't want your service. They don't want your business. So, <laughs> uh, that being said, uh, there's a store across the street from them that does exactly what they do. Uh, discount prices, liquidations. And uh, when that occurs, you know, when, 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 when customer service changes and tells you they don't want your business anymore, that's, a, that's your cue to go across the street and go give your business, your business to somebody else. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do, and I'll give you the time when I get back. I don't know what time it is now. I keep forgetting to check the time. So, uh, but I have other things to do while I'm walking here. I'm going to start, uh, there are other vlogs that I'm working on, specific to the different research institutes, that we uploaded to the institute channels. And uh, look for those videos there. I'll give you a heads up when they're going to come up. They'll be up faster than these because they're going to be shorter. 
they're going to be quick answers, they're going to be short notes, they're going to basically, they're basically going to be the ad hoc notes, bit by bit, rather than all together. So, anyways, that's it for now. Uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Well, there appears to be a train coming in this direction here, so let's see if we can wait and see the train here. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, if it does take a while, because sometimes that does happen, what I'll do is just sort of cut to the point where it's coming. <laughs> So we'll do that, we'll wait till it cuts to the right, the right point, and then I'll turn the camera back, we'll turn the camera back on again. The beep did not go off this time. Anyways, uh, watching for trains is good, uh, is good physics. <laughs> if you're into physics, uh, it's a good, it's good training for you. Because a lot actually happens, particularly if you're trying to look at distances. And it kind of uh, it gives you a better understanding of astrophysics as well. Because you wonder why when you look at a star, the star doesn't have any color. Even though a, car, a star is supposed to have color to it, uh, you don't see the color. And the reason is, is that if you can sort of see this here. There are red lights on the uh, train tracks. There are uh, signal lights. They're typically red. But when viewed from a distance, the color starts to fade. As a matter of fact, if you see it through branches, like if you're watching, a, if you're trying to see something in the distance, a, a light, a light pole in the distance, one of these signal lights, uh, and your trees blocking a view, and what ends up happening, it starts to twinkle. And what it is, it's not actually twinkling; it's the trees, you know, cutting, cutting, blocking the light, blocking the light. Uh, if I'm coming to you periodically, so you have, let's see, here's the tree branches and I'm going in front like this. Uh, okay, that's, that's the effect there. And what it does, as it starts to break up the light, the colors of the light starts to change. So that you can get an impression that there is a train coming because you see the bouncing lights. Well, and I think it's true, because the train has, a, has a, if you look for a train, they have a distinct pattern on them for the lights. It's a triangle of three lights. There's two on the bottom and one on the top. And you look at the one on the top. The one on the top is the one that usually bounces around a lot. There's a lot of uh, 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 movement to it. And that's simply the movement of the train, but as you view it as, as simply a point of light, it has a twinkling effect to it. Uh, there's also a, a coloration effect that goes to it as well. So. Uh, and the thing is, when you have trees blocking the signal lights, or sort of interrupting the uh, flow of light from the signal to your eyes, it starts to make the, the signal light look like a train light. So in other words, the appearance is the same. So one thing could be a train and one thing could be a signal light, but they could be, appear to be the same from a distance. And this happens also with UFO sightings, I'll, you know, we talk about UFO sightings. Lights do play an enormous amount of tricks on you. There are issues when it comes to uh, projection of light. Uh, projections can actually be, be uh, sent further than they are expected. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna talk. This is it for now. I'm gonna talk to you more when I get back to the office. You know what time it is. That will sort of be the uh, timestamp for this segment. Uh, and if it's more than one segment, I'll let you know. Anyways, uh, it's been a good walk. I'll see you back there because we're coming to a light now. All right, see you back at the office. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time for our next BTS vlog. So, oh, let's get our timer started. Got a new timer here now. <laughs> I'll fix up the de I'll fix up the back room uh, computer. I completely reinstalled Kubuntu. Apparently, after a period of time, uh, sometimes if damage gets into the system, there is no option but to back up as much data as you can and then just redo the entire system. So that was done here. Uh, the result was the well, well, actually, the result is I have a better operating system here. But for some reason, I don't know what it is. There is still a very, there is still a significant problem with 1310 and above. 
But for starting from starting from uh, thirteen oh four, which is discontinued, to thirteen ten, there's some th issue with Kabantu and Ubuntu itself that I'm not really too sure. Uh, these last two series of upgrades, where they upgraded the uh, Linux image, uh, they didn't go well. They, they, it, it produced errors, and it shouldn't be doing that. I mean, on a clean install, if you do a clean install, then you upgrade your system. You should the, the clean install should be should be good. It shouldn't produce an error in the um, in in the upgrade. But it, it, what it did it, at uh, the, it, the Linux image firmware, it produced a error uh, that it couldn't recover from. And what I did is I did a couple of series of upgrades. I you know I did some tricks with some, some not really tricks but some uh, other options. Sort of left it to the, to, to the end and. It, by the time I rebooted, after putting in some new options, the problem seemed to clear itself away. So, uh, there are still bug issues within uh, 1310, and but issues have to do with uh, the Linux image, the Linux, Im uh, uh, Linux images up when you upgrade it. Be very careful. That it, is, it starts from, it starts from, uh, I think, uh, three... 3.11 dot, uh, I think it's 18 or something like that. It, 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 18, 19 is the last, uh, are the last two digits. 18 and 19, those are the last digits there. Uh, those, that's where the problem seems to be. Uh, I'm not really too sure exactly what it is that's causing the problem. I will sit down and try to figure out what, what the issue is. Uh, and get back to you on that. But, uh, uh, anyways, uh, let's see. We want to go on with a date and time stamp. Let's see here. It is. Ah, uh, uh, do this right. It is 13 hours and 55 minutes into the day of uh, Saturday, April 5th, 2014. I gotta, re I gotta sort of fix this up a little bit. Uh, now I haven't finished uh, doing the upgrade to, to this part yet. I haven't finished doing the config. Uh, yes, I was supposed to finish it yesterday, but I didn't have enough time to. There was no uh, other things that sort of popped up. I ended up getting a ride to uh, the place that uh, sort of shipped the uh, wrong, hard, the damaged hard drive. I returned it. Uh, by the time I got back to my place, there was less than three hours before I had to go out again for church. And so by the time I got back from church, it was like 10, 30, 11. Uh, I checked my email on my computer. Uh, did some more work on my IPTV. I've upgraded my IPTV. I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, you know, probably after some time after breakfast. And then I ended up going to church and I ended up uh, doing some work at church uh, to uh, fix up, uh, what you call it? Uh, I designed the sound system there and then I now I put a recorder on there so that you can record the services. I can hear the services and practice the services. Uh, and again, they're all in Greek, so if you're, if you're studying Greek, the best way to study Greek or any language is not from a textbook, but actually from real life, to be in the environment, to be uh, immersed in the environment. So this is what's happened, and I'm recording the services so that when I bring them back, uh, it's like I'm in church and I'm immersed in, the, in, in that Greek environment, in, you know, in the language. Uh, this is kind of the same thing. I'm going to set the same thing up to learn Japanese as well. I'm still trying to learn my Japanese, but it's it's slow going because there's so much else to do. Uh, I did more work on organic. I've been doing more work on organic chemistry, uh, looking at the uh, at the or, uh, at the organic chemistry of sugar. It's quite an interesting subject uh, for myself, anyways. <laughs> uh, and now the uh, process that's going to happen today is I have to do some cleaning. I have to finish the. Uh, the config work on on this back system here. Once this config system, once the config work back here is done, that should be done today. Uh, then I have to add the hard drive in, and then once the hard drive is in, I have to start rebalancing uh, the network uh, so that everything works properly. So that has to be done as well. Uh, in other words, there's there's, an, there's a significant significant amount of work that still needs to be done. Uh, the walk. Uh, which you will see as part of this uh, BTS blog from uh, 
April 2nd to April 5th. This will be the this is the third segment of uh, the April of the of this blog from April 2nd to April 5th. Uh, so I will do an end of the vid end of the day vlog. That will be it for the for that for the for uh, April 2nd April 5th. The first segment what is the or was the uh, uh, the uh, shopping and it took me about three hours to do the shopping. It was about a three hour trip and yeah I was pretty happy with it. So uh, the overall results ended up good and as I said I'm ending up ahead of where I would have been uh, uh, if the hard drive hadn't crashed, you know, the hard drive, the hard drive crash, hard drive crash, has not really slowed me down. It's inconvenienced me, but it hasn't slowed me down. The progress is still moving ahead. Uh, it was a little tough to get through. The mapping out was also an issue. It took me a couple of hours, a couple of days to do that. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how as we go forward from here, what ends up happening. Uh, there is more to talk about, but I'll do that when I come back. Our time is just about up, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit after breakfast, maybe. Maybe we'll see what happens, or, or, or at the end of the day. I'm not really too sure. Whew. Alrighty. Have a good day. Democratic Earth. Earth.